If you have IgA nephropathy, you want to keep your phosphorus levels under control because it can slow down the loss of kidney function. It can slow down that disease progress. Now, this is coming from the Clinical Kidney Journal in January two, uh, 28th, uh, 2021. And what they did here is IgA nephropathy and autoimmune disease, which doesn't have a great prognosis, but I've seen very good results when people do everything together that we always talk about here at Healthy Kidney Inc. And they tracked these people for about three years. And what they found was that people with higher phosphorus levels, their IJ nephropathy progressed faster. And when it comes to kidney disease, there's so many factors to address. So phosphorus is showing more to be so much more important than we ever thought. And we have so many more ways now to actually control it and natural ways as well as uh, pharmacological ways. But we're in Healthy Kidney Inc. We always stick to natural. That's what we do because that's what you have control over in your life. So if your phosphorus is high and you have IJ nephropathy or borderline high or near that high end, you want to look to get it down through diet. And we also talk about some supplements that do support uh, normal healthy phosphorus levels that you can take a look at at Healthy Kidney Inc. Uh, but you want to look to reduce that phosphorus level because it really does show an impact along with everything else that you want to do for IgA nephropathy. They did look at calcium in the study too, but didn't find a correlation with calcium levels and the progression of IgA. So first and foremost thing you should always do is when you go to get your blood test, ask for the phosphorus level. Don't assume that your medical doctor is doing it because I receive hundreds, hundreds of thousands of blood works a year from all different people who just want to tell me, oh, look what, you know, look what this is, look what happened here. Uh, from the consulting I do and from all the different health coaches we got here, the kidney health coaches, and we see a lot, a very large percentage. It could be as high as uh, 60 to 70 and maybe 80% of people never get their phosphorus tested. And when people do have, tend to have it tested, it's in the later stages. And when you're in stage four or five, I mean, you're, it's so much harder to do something for your health as opposed to an earlier stage where you have much more control, much more kidney function that can compensate and do other, you know, all the good things that it's supposed to do in your body. So uh, IJ nephropathy, get the phosphorus tested, borderline high, high or, or near the high range, uh, then you got to take some active steps to lower it because it will help you. Thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health from one kidney disease uh, sufferer to another. Bye.